Yo, what's up? I'm Kyle Deitch and you're watching Joburg Today. If you feel like a weekend of exploration, then why not start with the Witz Origin Center? Set in Witz University's West Campus, the Origin Center is a marvel of art, symbolism, and technology. The museum boasts 15 years of a collection of fossils, artifacts, rock art, and ancient stone tools. This, all in the name of historical education for your benefit. So the Origin Center is, is is an interesting place because it's where science meets art in order to explore the African and the long African past. And so on events on a weekend, we can cover anything from the first dinosaurs, what they look like, how you can draw them, how you can reconstruct them, all the way through to understanding how the first humans painted, how they made paint, how they created their pigments, all of those kinds of things. This particular piece behind me, the Walter Altman, the map of Africa, I think, is fantastic. It centralizes Africa in the world, which is what it should be. And of course, it shows then and foregrounds the fact that everything pretty much evolved in Africa and humans evolved in Africa and moved out of Africa, as did their technologies, their innovation, their art. And so Africa should be at the center of the map. And who does the center target? We try to uh, cater for all ages. So when you go through, you'll see our rock engravings. We're creating an augmented reality experience for young people. And the idea there is to get children to come in and play. We like people to come and play and experience the past and be able to get up close to these beautiful artworks, examine them, enjoy them, and at the same time, use the technology that they're familiar with. So use augmented reality to project the animal in real time. But on the other hand, also the, the older person who's really interested in the past, in understanding the long and complex history of Southern Africa, uh, of course would enjoy this kind of place. Art, people who love art, the artworks here from the early um, ancestors to the San who painted the artworks that we have in some of the rooms, plus the engravings, which are probably queer engravings, and then the contemporary artworks will keep anybody who loves art here for hours on end. The Origin Centre also focuses on the cradle of humankind's past, working in partnership with Maruping, and so certainly making this a two-in-one experience. We kind of pick up where they leave off. So the early hominins we do have, you'll see Mrs. Players, Homo Naledi, uh, all the hominins that we have found on the cradle. And of course, we are trying to develop programs that we can hold together with Maruping, so that we can both foreground that kind of, that element of the science of the cradle of humankind, which of course WITS is central to. The WITS Origin Center offers a refreshing and educational experience where innovation and evolution of both art and technology come significantly into light. Learning about history has never been this exciting, so why not be a part of it? We're open and we're welcoming to everybody who wants to come and see us. <laughs> 